The units I'm going to show you today is our drum mixer, DME01, which mixes drums, all different sizes, and our depalletizer unit, DTP04. First thing we're going to do is pick up this green drum. This unit, we can lift drums by pumping the handle, and we can also move the lifter left and right, so we can take all these drums off from this position. So let's wheel into the first drum. Catch is connected. We can see the catch gripping the drum. Pump the handle to lift the drum off the pallet. Then use this handle like a tiller. Then you can see the side shift function here. We do this, we can move it across to line up with the center of the drum mixer. Now we pump this handle to raise the drum to enough height to clear the base plate. Then we maneuver in to the base plate. Once it's pushed all the way in, we pull this handle to drop the drum down. Then when there's no weight on the unit and the drum is in the head, we can disconnect the catch. Again, we can park this in the middle. Next thing we do is we bolt the drum into the head we put this cross beam on here. So the cross beam is stored on this bracket here. So we lift that down, there's two handles at the top. We place this in the center line of the drum. We then have these toggles on the side. We lift up the toggle and screw down the T-bolt. We do the same on this side. Now once they're done, slack like that we just spun them up we now just turn both of them half turn at a time until they're tight and the main thing to check for there's no daylight you can't see any gaps underneath the beam so it's fastened in and now we can close the doors Once this has secured the doors, we're now ready to mix. Okay, this is the control panel. So we can select the mixing speed, the RPM. We can also have a timer. We can set how long to mix it for. So to start, set those parameters and then press start. Once the unit's set running, it'll start counting down on the timer. So now we have it set for 30 minutes. I mean, some things only need mixing for five minutes. It just depends on the viscosity and type of material. Okay, so the unit's finished mixing the drum. Timer's at zero. So we now want to put the drum in the vertical to take it out. So we press this docking fun function. Press this button. Drum now rotates to the vertical, then we'll stop. As soon as the drum stopped, we can open the gates. Next thing is undo the crossbar at the top. Lift the bar off, put it back on our storage bracket there. Let's get our depalletizer and take the drum out. Again, we move this across just to the middle part of the drum. Pump 
pump the handle to lift. Again, we can lower the drum, move to the mid position. Place back on the pallet. Okay, we're now looking at the small drum attachments. So this H-frame arrangement here has these legs on and you can see that we can lift this up and it goes through holes on the base plate. So you line those up with the holes and just drop it in. So it's very adjustable. So you can move this crossbar here, Let's take it out again so you can see it. We can move this crossbar up and down to any of these holes by taking these pins out. It's always handy, someone will give you a hand with that. And then also you can take this off by sliding it and turning it over so you have different fittings here. So basically just do it for the height of the drum. You need to be a little bit short with it. So when we put it on, you want the bars to go through the holes. And you can see I have a spare gap there. So this allows us to compress this down to compress the drum. And I'll show you that now. So let's get the crossbar. Place that on top of here, using the both handles. Then move your toggles up and spin them down like we did before for the big drum. And again, turn them down half turns at a time, nice and even. Okay, that's it. Now, we can see now that this drum is clamped. So before we start mixing, we need to make sure that you still have a gap at the bottom. So this bar is physically pushing down on the drum and the drum is nice and secure. And there's no daylight, no gaps under the beam. So we know that it's clamping the drum down properly. Next thing, we can close the doors and start the mix. Again, select the speed and the mix time, press start on the panel. We're now looking at the mixer control panel. First feature, emergency stop. So to stop any functions, press down stop. You can see here the disable light is illuminated, the power is still on, but the mixer timer panel has gone out. Reset this, turn, resets. You see the timer is back in action and the disable light is now off. So to start a mix, we want to set this panel. How many minutes do we want to mix for? Press set, and then press increase, up, so say 10 minutes, press set. When it's not flashing anymore, it's set for 10 minutes. So this will count down as it mixes. Set how many revs per minute. We actually want to rotate the drum and then press start. Now this will keep mixing like this and the panel will keep counting down. You can slow and vary the speed and then stop. So if we now want to take the drum out, we would need to return it to vertical. So we press the dock function. It will slowly rotate now to the vertical and stop. Next thing we need to do is open the gate. If the unit was rotating and we open the gate, the mix will automatically stop 